helmets, no pads. Rugby is not a game for those faint of heart. It's all about grit, guts, determination, and running. Running is paramount. For the past 30 years, head coach Jack Clark has been calling the shots for Cal Rugby. During that time, Clark and his lads, as he likes to call them, have captured a staggering 22 national championships. Nice ball. That's the stuff, lads. And it's a wonderful game. You know, it's a game where uh, it takes a lot of different body types to effectively play the game well. Ideally, it takes a bit of a portfolio of body types, some tall guys and some you know, guys built like mailboxes, you know, really square, little guys, big guys, fast guys, evasive guys. And, um, and then together, you know, in concert, you know, uh, try to point their nose all in the same direction and, and, and play the game and play it well. There's nothing like having a 225 pound mailbox headed right at you. Consider joining the debate team. Best thing to do, long to space, let the ball hit and run, chase it down like wild dogs and hope that we can you know, put them into touch and maybe change into the field. The University of California has been playing rugby for 130 years. That's back when Chester A. Arthur was president of the United States. In 1907, when this photo was taken of the lads, Teddy Roosevelt was in the White House. And that's some serious history. And that history and tradition underscore every practice and every game. It's easy to kind of feel like, you know, you're, you're a part of something, you know, larger and more important than yourself. And, and that kind of brings out um, in, 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 in each member of the team, it brings out something in them that's really attractive. There's something really selfless about being a part of something, you know, larger than yourself. You, you work harder, you, you're, you're, you're more honest okay. in your commitment. So, best thing to do is relay this ball or football it if you, if you damn kick that ball, you better hit his hands with it, I'll tell you that. We have got to get this ball as quickly as we can, because this is perishable. Clark was born in Huntington Beach, California. He was recruited by Cal to play football, and he was an outstanding offensive tackle for the Golden Bears in the mid-1970s. Clark played rugby in the offseason, and he fell in love with the sport. He was able to grasp its strategy, tactics, and just as importantly, the movable music that takes place on the pitch. Clark is just as much composer as coach. And what he loves is space, and space to create opportunities. After all this time, it turns out that what's far more important to Clark than points, victories, and trophies is what the sport has given to his players over the past three decades. What they've gained is perspective, discipline, and leadership. And that creates one of those really important building blocks you know, going forward. It really allows them to know that you know, they, they have a methodology to, to achieve. And uh, so when, you know, the great challenges in their life come along, you know, they, uh, you know, I've, I've been up against it before. I, I think I can make a plan. I think I can, I can, I can put that plan in action every day and, and make adjustments where needed. And I, I can see it through and I can, I can achieve success. Saying 30 years in any one place is rather rare these days. With 22 national championships on the shelf, Clark's run to Cal, has been extraordinary. It's a great university, isn't it? And uh, it's my university, and uh, it, um, you know, it's uh, it's located in the Bay Area, and you know, I'm just real dedicated to this particular opportunity. I've had a couple other opportunities to to coach elsewhere. Some of them were really attractive, and uh, but I still feel like we're building something here. I still feel like there's uh, there's a lot of work to be done, and uh, we're not we're not there yet. Ask a man what he takes the greatest pride in, and he will reveal something about his soul. With Clark, it's all about the players he's coached. It's hard to, to be on a championship team and to do your part and, and, and decide willfully that you want to do all of those things and you want to be a little bit different in, in, in just how you walk this planet. And, um, and then to go through the rigors of it and come out the other end um, and be, be somebody that can so... Um, you know, so valuably contribute um, to society. I mean, that's, I mean, that's as good as it gets. That's the thing I guess I'm most proud of. Jack Clark, molding young men and shaping lives for life without helmets and no pads. First.